Hey guys, welcome back to Sonic Unleashed. This is Marimba Lick. Um, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna return to the world map here. Uh, in the last episode, we returned the second piece of the planet and we fought the Phoenix after completing the night stage in uh, Chun Nan. So now we're gonna go ahead and talk to Professor Pickle, as our pattern would suggest. Oh, sweet, it's already in daytime. Perfect. Um, anyways. We're going to go ahead and talk to Professor Pickle and figure out what we need to do next. Because that is the pattern. So yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Anyways, um, so there's a quicker way to get to Professor Pickle that I messed up doing last time. Right here, just go through here and then go right up here. Boom, boom. And that is significantly faster than what I did the first time, which took me probably like 20 or 30 seconds longer. Anyway, that's some chocolate milk here. I'm going to take a little sip while I'm waiting on the load. Okay. Strange robot sightings of Chud Dan. We were just there! Oh my gosh. So, okay. So basically, now that we've completed the night stage in Chun Man, we get to go complete the day stage. And it would be extremely painful for you. <laughs> um, okay, so in the last video, I was talking about how um, the stages in Chun Man were advertised in the trailer um so basically once you get through here uh <laughs> i love it when i start a sentence and completely lose my train of thought so anyways the day stage trailers or excuse me the day stages in chun nan were advertised in the trailer for the game so if you remember the trailer at all, or if you go and watch it now that I mention it, I advise you go and watch it because it's actually really cool. Uh, you will see that there's some really, really cool portions to this level. Um, oh crap, I should have gotten the sun medals while I was in here. Oh, it's this guy. What the heck is he doing here? This is the village, village elder from uh, Missouri. So let's see what he's doing here. Oh, it's you. Fancy meeting you here. Yeah, I hope you remember me. Yes. Former village elder Gwek. I am not village elder anymore. I retire so I can travel the world and find a way. It's so nice to not have to worry about the village affairs. Let me tell you. Speaking of which, do the people of this village seem a bit flustered? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that offered absolutely no good information. So, I'm sorry to have to spend a little time here, but we're going to go ahead and grab the two sun medals that are in this little hub world. Um, like I keep saying, it is absolutely vital you get as many sun medals as you can. Uh, while you're able to because you do not want to have to be searching for them later like I said uh, Second one I believe is over here. Yeah, okay, so those are your two sun medals um, We're gonna go up to the stage here And we'll yeah Now I believe uh, once you get 60 sun medals you will be at level five but i don't remember for sure i know it's 30 for level three so it kind of makes sense if 60 was level five but i'm not really sure i know the numbers get weird as you go up let's see you can actually check in your status menu uh one when you're in a hub world yeah at level four so one left yeah oh my gosh i hate how you lose so many frames in the hub world man like, I don't understand why um, the hub world is so poorly designed compared to the levels. I mean, like, in day stages, you're moving so fast, and you don't drop any frames at all. 
But when you're in the hub world, man, it is trash. Um, we're not going to do the ring glitch again in this video. Um, I already got way more than enough rings for what I need, so... Not that I even need them anyway. I've, I've done everything I want to do that involves rings. But whatever. I love that picture. Just look at that picture. It looks so good. But anyways, let's just get into this stage without further ado. I just love this stage so much. Um, it is so cool. This stage and the Spagonia Rooftop Run are just really fun stages to play in general. Um, especially once you've learned them. Now, I believe there's a similar thing that they did. Okay, I lied. Sorry. I thought there would be a, a medal right there. Um, oh, oh I, I messed up. Okay. Uh, anyways, we're just going to go ahead and do our best. Uh, go up here. So, as you can see, we start out on literally the Great Wall of China. So I'm guessing Chunnan is, is what would be a city in China. Um, but yeah. So look, we have a literal dragon that we're running on top of now. Like, it doesn't get much cooler than that, guys. I mean, let's be honest. How many times in Sonic games do you see stuff like this, you know? And it's stuff like this, just little things that make this game my personal favorite out of all the Sonic games. It's just so wonderful. I mean, if you look down really quickly, look at the detail. We are above the clouds in the mountains, and they have all this fog all over the clouds. And then they have the waterfalls and the mountains. This is one of the few times where water looks really good in this game. Um, I just gotta say, it's just so cool. Uh, if you're a completionist, here's a book. Right there. Uh, I don't know where all the books are in this game. But I just wanted to point that out. Just an easy little collectible. In case you miss it for some reason. But yeah. Okay, be careful in this little section. There's a moon metal right here you don't want to miss. And this little rail section can really catch you off guard if you're not paying attention. But you're going to want to come out boosting right here. Be very careful. This little section is very easy to die in. Um, you're going to want to... Yeah, see, there you go. You're going to want to not hit the boats, but um, anyways. You're going to want to utilize your quick step and uh, your drifting here. Okay, yeah, this is the way. Oh, I missed that, okay. If I had gotten up there, I believe there's a, a medal that you can get if you get up there. But yeah. Honestly, I'm not very good at this level, so please don't like, make fun of me for my skills in this level. Honestly, I'm just not that good at this level. Okay, there we go. Oh, there we go. There's another sun metal. I believe that makes our uh, 60th right there. Oh, another one. How about that? All right. Okay. Alright, careful here because it is very easy to fall off or get hit by spikes or whatever. Um, yeah. This, is, this level right here is actually a good example for why you shouldn't try to max out Sonic the Hedgehog too soon. Because if you're too fast, it becomes a lot easier to fall off. Um, your normal walking speed becomes way faster and it's a pain in the butt. So definitely be careful right here if you decided to max out Sonic or, you know, something similar where he's just really fast. Uh, ooh, ooh, careful, careful. Okay, all right. <laughs> all right, so as you can see, he's got his missiles homed in on, 
you, but they're clearly not very good, so... Uh, be careful for this guy, though. I believe he does a lot better than his previous, uh, comrade. Alright, wait for him to stop sparking. Come down here, boom. Home in on that, and then Lego. And you get a nice little fireworks display as part of your little level. I mean, guys, how often, bro, which Sonic games? Please explain. Oh no, that's not good. Another thing I like about the ring energy is you don't have to be, like, touching the rings to collect them, which is so cool. And that's, this is the first game that introduced that mechanic, and it was just so cool. Oh, I think there might be a metal in this area. If not, it's definitely cool to look around here. Huh. I could have sworn there was something here. Ah, whatever. Who cares? Let's go. Anyway, due to my time and dying, I'm probably going to have a low grade. Yeah, see... <laughs> I'm gonna keep upgrading uh, all this stuff before I continue with Sonic because, again, I really don't like for him to be too, too fast because then it makes it really difficult to control him. But later on in the game, you are gonna want Sonic to be faster. So don't neglect him completely. Um, just remember later on, you know. Anyway, so now that we've done that, we're probably going to get uh, told by Professor Pickle to go somewhere else. <laughs> but yeah, one thing you're going to notice too, uh, as you're playing this game, with each country that you unlock, you're probably going to play one day stage and one night stage and then move on to the next place, or you'll play, you know, you're really not going to play multiple day stages or night stages. Oh yeah, hold on. Let's get to the day so that we don't have to spend forever running to Professor Pickle. Jeez. Alright, so. Do our usual. Jump up here. Up here, and boom. All right, now, when we stop talking to Professor Pickle, I'm gonna show you something uh, that I forgot to show you that you're probably gonna like. <laughs> um, all right, so we talked to him. Okay, robot sightings in Spagonia. You know what that means, it's day stage for Spagonia. So that's nice, so we get to play the two coolest day stages in a row. That's actually really fun. I'm excited about that. But anyways, I'll try not to die on that stage, by the way. <laughs> but um, once we get out of talking to Professor Pickle, you'll notice if you turn around, come right here. So Amy is now here for us and stuff. If we talk to her, she usually has something stupid or silly or kind of cute to say. Where to next? Can I come with you? No. <laughs> what are you, are you even listening? Why is she always so mad? What the heck? <laughs> Anyways, let's get in the stage. So, in order to access the day stage for um, Spagonia, it's actually really easy. It's the thing that we did before in, in the uh, one of the previous videos, but we didn't have the uh, ability to go into the stage before. But anyways, we go through here. Oh yeah, so it looks like we're going to be able to access the boss once we finish the day stage. So we're going to go up here, boom. 
go ahead and boost. Yum. And then ground pound right here. And boom. Yep, as you can see, there's a key right there, which usually means we're probably going to, um, <laughs> probably going to face the boss right after beating this level. Now, this day stage is a lot longer than most of the other day stages, especially if you don't know what you're doing. It has been a while since I played this stage, so I'll try to make it as interesting as possible, but, you know. Alright. Woo, that was close. Alright. Okay, there's the... There's a moon metal. Okay, there's a book if you're a completionist. Alright, yeah, don't drop down. Okay, anyways. <laughs> Come down here, we're gonna drift. Unfortunately, there's no way to actually, like, do that successfully unless you, like, stop boosting. But I prefer not to stop boosting, because boost is lit, so... Oh, yeah. Get the moon metal, awesome. Oh, I was drifting there, I didn't even notice at first. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, so far we're not having too much trouble, it looks like. Okay, I recommend not uh, pressing X or square unless you know where you're going. Yeah, see, honestly, that could happen whether you do it or not, but I try to be careful because that little section is very iffy. Alright, now, yeah, we're gonna face some robots here. Um, just try to avoid, you know, what you can, if you can't, then you can't, you know. Oh, schnizzle. Alright, kinda slide over here. Boom. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Alright, careful for the spiked um, barrels on that little area. Also, sorry for the drop in commentary for a little bit there. I kind of was trying to be really focused because I don't want to mess up and embarrass myself. Uh, anyways though, you guys can probably see by now why this stage is so cool. Um, but yeah, careful on this little section. Uh, it can be very annoying if you mess up. So definitely don't mess up. But yeah. Get that, that, boom. Now zing it, and check that out. You get to go to the clock. Alright, a little quick time event here. Not too bad. It's really not that hard. Just, you know... Focus, don't let yourself get super nervous right there. Um, I think if you mess up, it's an instant death, so definitely be careful. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, if you press A there, or X if you're on PlayStation like I am, uh, you can avoid, or excuse me, you can get that little moon metal there. Alright. All right, cool. Oh yeah, if you get that quick time event, then you will be able to get you another moon medal. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, I am so lucky.
Oh no, I didn't avoid it in time. That is a huge loss. I had I had over 600 rings. Wow, okay. Not that I need them, but that's kind of disappointing, you know? It's like really cool to finish a level with a pocket full of rings, you know what I'm saying? Now, instead of quick stepping here, I kind of like to use the analog stick. It actually makes this a lot easier. Um, but you can do whatever you want, obviously. <clears throat> wow. Hey, a B. Nice. I did not get a single sun medal on that stage. Wow. Um, yeah, let's do shield. And then let's go back and restart on our strength. There we go. All right, cool, 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 cool. So where are we at? We are 21 minutes in. Wow. Time really flies when you're shooting videos, I gotta say. <laughs> Anyways, though. Well, yep. Uh, I'm pretty sure we're about to face the boss, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, looks like I lied. Okay. Sorry, guys. New info for us. It's probably... Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. It's probably go and uh, fight the boss now. And if not, I can't imagine what it could be. Yep. Why, why did we need to go talk to Professor Pickle to find that out? Why didn't we just go straight to the boss like back in Missouri? That makes absolutely no sense. But whatever. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, but yeah, so um, I do have plans to do more Let's Plays once I finish this game. I'm sure you guys will be very interested to see what I'm going to play next, and currently I have a few games picked out, but my number one right now is going to be a snowboarding game called SSX3. Uh, I have not seen any casual gameplay of that game on YouTube, so I don't know if I'll be the first to Let's Play it or not, but at the very least, I'll be one of very few people on YouTube who will Let's Play that game. And I gotta say, um, SSX3 is easily my favorite snowboarding game, um, but it's also one of my childhood games that just, when I played it, it was... I was very young. It was one of the first video games I ever played in general. And it is definitely a very dear game to me. Um, not to mention, it is just timeless and absolutely fun. Um, so yeah. Before I do that game, I want to try and learn a few more things. But... Um, Okay, so basically you want to break his shield there. Um. Oh, jeez. Okay. I don't even know. What am I doing? Alright. Okay, it would appear I have... Alright, get that moon medal if you can. Alright. He always stays just out of reach. It's so annoying. I don't know what to do. There we go. There we go. Oh, I missed the sun medal right there, apparently. Oh, nice. I believe we're pretty close to beating this boss. Oh, I missed the sun medal again. Oh, there we go, though. Nice. 
Okay, that's that boss. Ha! <laughs> Playtime's over, pal. Wow, that was it. One minute and 35 seconds? Jeez. Nice. Uh, okay, so we get the strength. Two and a half bars, nice. But yeah, I believe the next thing we're probably going to have to do is go into Holoska and beat the night stage. And that is a very long stage, so if that's what I have to do, then I'm probably going to sign off for this video. But here we go for another cutscene. Wings. Oh my god. Another one. What's that? Another one. So, um, we're back in Spagonia. We're gonna go ahead and talk to Professor really quickly. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, you know what? We might not have to face, or excuse me, go to Holoska yet. It might be time to go to um, a different place. Let's find yeah. out. Another piece. Bring it. Oh, okay, so the Holoska Temple. Yeah. So, yeah. That means we're going to be going to the Holoska Night Stage, like I said. Now, um, what you can do to quickly get to the world map is just Press pause, and up, and then boom, you're at the world map. <laughs> and that is much faster, even than riding the rail all the way back to the world map uh, little area. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Alright, oh, look at that. It's already a night. We better get there, though, before it takes us. Now, um, I'm going to show off the first two medals really quickly before I sign off. Oh, but I want to appreciate this music for a second. Okay, anyways, sorry, we've done enough appreciating. Really quickly, uh, for those of you who like to 100% the game and stuff, so this guy right here, his name is Wintos. The first place you're supposed to see him in is Missouri, but off screen I accidentally talked to him while I was in Missouri, so sorry about that. But um, I guess this is the second place you're going to see him. Go ahead and talk to him. Yep, say hello. Now, eventually, if you keep talking to Wintos, uh, you'll be able to shop from him. So yeah, as you see, he disappeared. So later on, we'll see him again. 
But for the time being, we're going to leave that alone. Uh, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Marimba Lake, and I hope you've enjoyed. If you like the video, please like, leave a like and uh, comment and subscribe if you haven't subscribed to the channel. And I'll be releasing more content just like this every single day. Thank you guys so much, and uh, have a good one.